Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the Surface Fillet tool. Now, the Surface Fillet tool is one of the most often used tools, period. Uh, so but the function, basic function is to create fillet. However, it is a little bit different from the round tool. There are some functionality differences and also it has a lot more options which you can use to create a lot more sophisticated fillets and also more importantly you can actually create a smoother continuity fillet so which, uh, which, uh, which means that you can not only create tangent but you can also create g2 curvature and even g3 curvature fillets okay so let's create a fillet so in order to create a surface fillet, all you have to do is go under surfaces and there's surface fillet right here. So I'm just going to double click. Okay, let me just reset all these options. Like this. So this, uh, this is the default. So um, I'll be explaining this a little bit more in detail, but let's just uh, go quickly over um, how to use this tool. So. Uh, uh, for the to start, I'm just going to change this to chord and in section type instead of G1 tangent, I'm just going to go G2 curvature for smoother transition. Chord length, I'm just going to change it to 20. Form factor, I'm just going to change it to 1. And for the flow control, I'm going to change it to edge line. So, in order to use this tool, I don't know why it says building fillet surface, but in order to use this tool, you have to click one set of surfaces, which are continuous. So I'm just gonna click this one, and you have to click the second one. And you'll see that the one is highlighted in pink and the highlight, the other one is highlighted in yellow. Now, you'll see the two arrows here. You'll have to make sure that these arrows are facing towards the center of the fillet shape. So let's say I want to create a fillet uh, over here that's a facing towards the center of this cube or cube-like object. So I'm gonna make sure that these uh, arrows are pointing inward. I'm gonna say build. And you have a fillet right here. Okay, so let's start with how to modify this. So the quarter length, uh, uh, this dimension right here, that's gonna adjust the size of the fillet. So let's say you want to make it bigger. So I'm just gonna type in 50 and update. And right now it's a lot bigger. And if you wanna make it smaller, all you have to do is drag. And let's say make it a 10 like this. Now the flow control. Uh, most of the times, you might uh, you'll want to use edge line. So there are two ways to modify this. So there's also flow control here, or you can click on this this manipulator right here. So if you go to connect, so right now it's uh, flowing nicely from here to here. If you change the connect, you'll see that it is just connecting from one edge to the other. If you use default, it just uh, it is going to create a fillet, fillet edge that is 90 degrees from each other. So in this surface, it's 90 degrees from here, and also in this surface, it's 90 degrees from here. Okay, and if you want to extend, basically right now with the fillet, because the fillet ends here, it's a little bit short here, but by pressing extend and update, it's gonna lengthen to the longest surface. But most of the times, uh, you're gonna be setting in an edge line and it's gonna create a smooth transition between the two surfaces. Now, uh, let's go over some of the continuity. So, right now, we let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's change to 50. And now, uh, unlike round, it also has a G0 option. So let's say you wanna create a uh, chamfer, a positional chamfer instead of a fillet, you can do that. So if you want to just change it to G0, you can create a chamfer like this. But if you want to create a tangent, circular or tangent, depending on, they're, they're essentially the same. You can uh, create a tangent 
you'll see that it's a little bit, uh, you can actually see the transition. The transition is not as smooth. If you change the G2 curvature, you'll see that it's a lot smoother. It's a lot, the flow is a little bit better. And if you change to G3, the resultant fillet is going to be even more smooth. Like that. Now, another uh, useful thing about the surface fillet tool is that you don't necessarily have to have a touching surface. So right now you'll see a huge gap between the two surfaces, but surface fillet it can actually make this without a problem. However, you need to make sure that the size of the fillet is bigger than the gap right here. So let's say I wanted to create something a little bit smaller. Uh, let's go a little bit smaller, let's say three you'll see that it becomes broken. Most of, most of the time, it won't even make it. So right now, it was able to make it through here, but you'll see, you'll notice that the fillet size is smaller than the gap, which means the tool cannot make the appropriate fillet. Okay, so that's a surface fillet tool. All right, that concludes this lesson, and thank you guys for watching.